The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. So we are an hour away, 8 a.m., from Q101 Twisted Christmas tickets for the Black Keys opening night, and you'll get to a record hang exclusively at the Empty Bottle with the band. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. All right. Well, some of the skills in basketball require dribbling, shooting, passing, running, the Bulls didn't do any of that last night. No, they did not. They did not. The Bulls missed their first eight shots in the game against the Bucks, And on Sunday's game, it took almost four minutes to score. I guess if you want to look at improvement, last night it took only three minutes to score their first hoop. Well, there you go, little by little. 82 <laughs> games in a season. <laughs> Uh, in the first quarter, they were 6-23, and 23, Kenzie. What do you think of that for shooting? 6-23. and 23. Your point is that professionals get paid and they should be able to do their job. Wait, they? what do you mean they were 6-23? and 23? So they, they made, made 6 out of 23 shots? Yes. Yeah. Not a great game of horse. <laughs> 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 no, nope, not good. They're third to last in the NBA in shooting percentage at 49%. So when you look at that, of course, 6-23 and 23 for the quarter is way less than that. I don't know how to do math on that. Is that 6? Uh, is that 20%? 24% shooting roughly? Uh, six, six out of 23? Yeah, if you multiply... No, twi- 20% would be, like, three. Yeah. So they about... No, 23. So it's 23 times four to get 100, let's say, and then six times four is 24, so about 24%. About 26. 26%, a little bit more. Yeah, that's not good. I, I just glazed over when he did that. I don't know what you're about. <laughs> and Alex Caruso couldn't play because of a toe spray, and he actually said after the game, I'm bored. I just want to get on the court and this toe sprain. I don't know. Take a shot. Get on the court. I've talked about this before, but I listened to an interview with Caruso last year where somebody asked him about his relationship with Lonzo Ball, who has obviously made it very clear he's not playing. It's not that he's bored. He's just, he's good, chilling out. Yeah. Alex Caruso missed one game. He complained about being bored. Somebody asked him about his relationship with Lonzo, and he was like, yeah, I don't know. I'd like him to be on the team. I'd like to play with him again. We don't really know what's going on. Of course, we talk about Lonzo having a $74 million contract. The last two and a half years, he hasn't played because his knee hurts. And they can't figure it out. They've done surgeries. They've done all this stuff. And it's going by his word now. They can't see the problem anymore. It's just, oh, it hurts. I can't jump. I can't run. Vibes. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I'm like, every time I work out, I'm like, oh, my God, it hurts. <laughs> oh, no. But if anybody could uh, make him get off the bench and play, it might be the new Cubs manager, Craig Council, at his press conference yesterday. Did you hear this, Kenzie, his opening press conference? Oh, boy, did I hear it. Yeah. My husband had it on replay. He had a little yeah. Bluetooth just Absolutely. around the house. It was, it was, very, it was played a lot. <laughs> Um, there's, we'll play the audio, and then there's something interesting at the end that Case noticed during the press conference that is very funny. Dude, this is this is right, man. This is the right. This is the right thing going on here, and this is something that's really special. So, that's um, that's been a big part of this for me. Um, from a baseball standpoint, you know, I think I saw quickly that like the organization is, is just in great health, and like that. Jed presented a very compelling vision of that. Um, it is time to be a Cub, right? There is there is momentum happening here. Let's go. Um, and it feels close. And, and that means there's a really exciting future ahead of us. Um, and now it's my job to, to be part of taking us to, taking us to the next level. Um, and that's the plan. That's the plan. I mean, I got fired up just hearing him speak the whole time of, like, we're close, which means they're going to spend in free agency, and they're going to try to get Otani here, who I believe it's one of his top three picks. I know the Braves conversation came into effect yesterday, I heard a little bit of, but he's coming here. We're getting him. Kenzie, I'm so excited. Kenzie source saw him at Nobu with uh, Seiya Suzuki, yeah. allegedly, even though he could have been in Japan at the same time. He may have been in Japan. <laughs> it was a 50-50 shot. He was buying mixed They didn't send him. a picture with it. I, don't know, I, I, just, I just was told that. I'm believing your source that he was there. Uh, but also, so while he was speaking, they had his name up there, Craig Council, on the screen. And then it was sponsored by Benny's, his name. And it, I don't know why that seems funny that Benny's Beverage Depot, which is an amazing place, by the way, an incredible a, a Walmart of liquor. It's is, funny that they're sponsoring what? The his, Cubs. They, they're sponsored. It just, I, I don't, it's not necessarily maybe not funny to everybody, but we did laugh about it that it just all of a sudden, the Benny, Craig Council is brought to you by Benny's as he's speaking right now. It just seems funny. Listen. Biddy's has got everybody. Have you seen the Biddy? Jamie Foxx, Kevin Hart. Have you seen the Biddy's commercials? Well, they're local. What? Why do they sponsor them? I know. <laughs> they, they have everybody on these commercials. It's unbelievable. They have Jamie Foxx and Kevin yes, Hart? Yes, on their commercials. Why haven't I seen that? They, Biddy's, Biddy's advertising is unbelievable.
Unbelievable. Rightfully so, because the place is a fantasy land of joy. Oh. Uh. Now, I know. A, a fantasy land of joy? When you go in there, I want to buy so much booze. I want to buy everything. <laughs> Stuff I would never drink. I just want to buy it. And they well, sell it well. I know that. I wonder if it's like a collaboration because so many people have launched their own liquor brand. I don't know about Jimmy Fox, but Kevin Hart did. Yeah. I think he launched a tequila. So maybe it's like a... There's a little bit of a deal there. Like we push it, it's by a little, little cut, cardboard cut out of Kevin when you walk in or something. But they have the most on-brand branding and i love it so much i love 773 just checked in it checked in and said i work part-time at benny's it's so fun that's nice <laughs> yeah. hey, good to have they, happy employees they're just, they're just crushing it of course they're part of the cubs yeah. they're just fun yeah. <laughs> like, go benny's i thought that was so odd but i guess i'm wrong i yeah. really i was like god that's that's weird for well, a liquor store to you, sponsor a baseball and, and Kenzie's, Kenzie's right they're everywhere but i also thought it was funny too just for some reason that the benny's was next to craig council's name but it is the best place Why, it's fun you can't have a drink yeah right He's of age. Listen, we've needed a drink the last season. Uh, it would be weird if they were sponsoring, like, a kid's event. Yeah. That'd be funny if your little league, if your son's Little League team was brought to you by Benny's. Brought to you by Benny's. They come out there with the patches on the uniforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I take it, though. They are just, they're a hoot. <laughs> I what, love them. What was the name of his, like, most recent team? What's their, you know, mascot well, or whatever? Well, right now, they're, um, the leagues that they're in now... They use professional baseball teams. Oh. So he was on um, Colorado Rockies. Oh. It's fun. The Benny's Rockies. Benny's Rockies. <laughs> Tony just texted in and said that Benny's also has Chris Chelios doing advertising. Are well, you kidding me? Well, I, I, I haven't seen that one. He listen, said, how oh dare God. you leave him out? I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, like, I wasn't like, F Chris Chelios. Yeah. I'm not bringing it up. I did not see that one. I, I don't think Tony was that aggressive <laughs> on it, hopefully. <laughs> you just to, I mean, but Chris Chelios, local legend, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, but I, it, I, I, that's amazing. This is what I'm, you, guys, you guys are missing out on Biddy. Every time a Biddy's ad comes on, I'm like, well, who am I about to no, see? You swung me. I was ready to make fun of the Cubs for this, but now I'm jealous. Oh, they're part of everything good. You know, if Biddy's... <laughs> If Biddy's wants you as an advertiser, you're like, okay, this is, we're supposed to be killing it. We're crushing it. Sounds like you can write your own check to it, too, because oh they got God. a lot of dough. Case, Case doesn't drink, and he wants to drink now. I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit the bottle. <laughs> Jesus. A little bit you're of that saying money. that is so funny. What, that I'm going to hit the bottle? I'm going to go hit the bottle out there. <laughs> yeah, that's what drinkers say. That's right. And you're not one, so it's funny. Um, also, the Cubs <laughs> uh-huh. announced uh-huh. <laughs> yesterday, March 28th, ESPN Sunday Night Baseball opening weekend. The world champ Rangers will be hosting the Cubs. That game has been announced, by the way. That'll be epic. Um, this is kind of a weird situation that happened to Arkansas football. So they were getting their ass kicked by Auburn at halftime. Arkansas-Auburn. It was 27-3 to at half. And they went real quick scene in the locker room. A tweet went out with a player watching Polar Express. Uh, a couple of them were kind of huddled around a TV watching Polar Express while they were getting their ass kicked. So there was a team huddle coaching going on, strategy, second half adjustments, and one guy turned around to the TV behind him watching the Polar Express. Now, I'm not sh- they don't know if he turned it on. or like, Why would it just be on <laughs> Polar Express in the locker room of a, of a major college football game? I don't know. Uh, maybe it was like ABC's family is, you know, 47 days of Christmas or whatever they do. They're they trying to get in the spirit, play Brian. Hit, they play the hits. Kenzie, can you tell us the plot of Polar Express? Have you seen the movie? Yes, I've seen it. I've also ridden on the Polar Express train downtown. Hello. Yeah, so suck it, Brian. Tell us more then. Okay, so... So, Tell us about it. Here we go. The Polar Express is about kids. Actually, thinking about it, this is probably a bad message for kids, but it's about kids who get on a train in the middle of the night with other parents. <laughs> right? Not a great idea. But it goes to the North Pole. Uh-huh. Okay, Tom Hanks is the voice of the conductor. Fantastic job. You just know it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, so you like they, they, they pick up all the kids in all the cities, and they go to the North Pole, and they get dropped back off. It's the Polar Express. It's incredible. It happens on Christmas Eve going into Christmas Day. Now, downtown, the Metra, there's a Polar Express train. Yeah. And they deck it out, and, like, Santa's on there, and you eat, like, milk and cookies, and a little play happens, and the train actually, like, rides up and down. Only time it doesn't smell like urine, which is awesome. (laughs) (laughs) The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. (laughs) Let the battle begin. Q. 101. Here we go. Clash with Kenzie for a, an exclusive Brian and Kenzie prize pack on Q101 if you beat Kenzie in trivia. And that will be Allen and East Garfield Park checking in to take her on. Ahoy. And uh, what do you do for your living, bud? 
Ahoy. So I'm a math teacher uh, with Chicago Public Schools. Oh, right on. Oh, What's... no. Oh, it's not, good, it's not a good sign for me. Changing to all math no. questions. <clears throat> uh, what school do you want to shout it out? Or should you be at school right now? Well, I'm, I'm on my way there. School hasn't started yet. Okay. All right. All right, good. good. No shout out over the school? <laughs> sure. Lionel Hampton, Fine oh. and Performing Arts. All right. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Last time we were decorating the Christmas tree, and my son Tristan was like, I'm going to give you a math quiz. And I'm like, I don't really want to do that. And I'm trying to decorate the tree. And he's like, what's eight times this? Or what's that? I go, you're making this not fun. <laughs> like, you're making this experience suck. And I want to decorate for Christmas. And I hate what's happening. Hmm. How about singing Jingle Bells, Tristan? I'm smelling, I'm smelling you're grounded. Go upstairs and leave me some, alone. There's some math questions. <laughs> Jeez. It was the worst. Got to say, he's using his time wisely. Trying to prove himself while you're decorating the tree with math quizzes. I'm like, this sucks. Uh, this is the worst tree decorating experience. All right, first one to five wins, Alan. Uh, listen carefully. If Kenzie gets one wrong, she, you can steal the point. She can do the same to you. College of your tails on the count of three. One, two, three, call it. Heads. That is heads. Here we go. Alan, you ready? Yep. Okay, Giannis Antetokounmpo plays for what basketball team? Three. Um, two. Two. Cavaliers. Uh, does not play for the Cavaliers. Kenzie? Giannis? Giannis. 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 Is it the Bucks? It is the Bucks. Good oh, job. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> also known as the Greek Freak, which is easier to say. Hey. That's a great nickname. <laughs> one of the best. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One to nothing. And back it's to, back to Kenzie, yeah. Kenzie, what color is the X in the FedEx logo? Um, orange. It is orange. There we go. Two nothing quick. Alan? You guys ever seen the arrow okay. in the FedEx logo? That's huh? right. Is right. Yeah. You ever see that? What do they call that? An Easter egg or something? Well, I don't know if that's the I think official they call name. It an X. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's something it, it's hidden to, to hit your brain differently. It's Optical illusion? Is that what you're thinking of? Maybe, maybe not an Easter Have egg. Have you seen it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was the question. That it's, was the question. It's an L guy. I've seen the arrow. Neat. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Every time that FedEx you truck drives by. You made it a whole by. thing. I was just asking. Uh, uh, Go ahead. It's back to Alan. Two to nothing. Kenzie's ahead. Alan, the likeness of which president is on the $2 bill? Jefferson. Jefferson is right. Jeffy. Is there something like some of those bills are worth five grand now or something right. like that? Yeah, there's certain ones that are supposed to be worth a lot. How are you supposed to know? It's got to be pristine and never used. And there's a picture of the ones like online. There's like special edition ones. Yeah? I got to go through my son's little stupid vault that he has. <laughs> I, I gave him all the ones my grandpa gave me, and I got to go through that and make sure. See, Tristan's doing math problems, decorating the tree, and he's hoarding $2 bills. Yeah, I'm going to be breaking into his safe while he's doing his math problems. <laughs> he's an interesting kid. Yeah. Two right. to one, back to Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie, who was the mascot for the fast food chain KFC? Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders is right. Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of in your sweet spot. Here we uh, go. Now, now we're talking. Alan, which villain is known for saying, why so serious? That's the Joker. That is the Joker. Uh, Kenzie, who commanded the Confederate armies during the American Civil War? Oh. <laughs> you don't want a math question. <laughs> this is the face of Wendy's. <laughs> oh. Crap. Um, I'm going to uh, George Washington. Uh, George Washington's not right. He was not a big slavery guy. He didn't like that. Well, so, I don't think so. I mean, we, we, I, I don't think we have time to get in that wormhole. Well, he was part of the people who fought off the, um, like, uh, like uh, the King of England. Yeah. And they were more... Hamilton and all them didn't want slaves. <laughs> you know? That whole crew. Is that how it's uh, done in your school, Alan, the history lesson? He uh, left. Say that, part like getting hit. Uh, <laughs> say that again, Alan? No, I just didn't hear what Brian asked. Oh, 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 oh ask the question oh, again, Oh, he's Brian. all serious here. Okay, here we go. Who commanded the Confederate armies during the American Civil War, Alan? That, that's General Lee. That is General Lee. Not I was. The, I just didn't know why you asked about the history lesson. <laughs> oh, because I wanted to have Kenzie go expunge on her knowledge of the Civil War, or, or, like, or actually, that, not the Civil War. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, she said the Civil yeah, War. It. Yeah. it is three to three, and it's going to be back to Alan. Okay, Alan. Uh, what two letters appear on the heart-shaped tag attached to all Beanie Babies? Three, two. Uh, BB. It's not BB. Mm. Uh, Kenzie. T Y. Because of the creator. Is that his initials? Yeah. It, uh, what's that? I, for, I, forget, I forget if it's his initials or if his name is Ty. 
Maybe huh. that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Didn't Actually, know. you should watch the movie um, The Beanie Bubble. Phenomenal. There's been a lot of good Beanie Baby content over the last few years. Yeah. There's wow. a great documentary that Vice did. Normally, they cover like wars in the Middle East, but they did a Beanie Baby documentary that was also very good. Dave, <laughs> is it a story? Um, Zach Galifianakis plays the creator. I think it's Ty something. I forget his name. Um, but he's the creator of Beanie Babies. That's why his initials are there. Kind of an egomaniac. Really, really awesome biopic. Is it about people getting trampled to get Beanie Babies? There's there's definitely some controversy involved. Some people that lost a lot of money. I don't know if there were any physical deaths to it. It was crazy. The Beanie Baby craze. Thank you. Ty started that. <laughs> All right, here we go. The, the craze was crazy. You it don't was, say. It was wild. Four to nothing. Back, or four to three, rather. Back to Kenzie. She can win with the correct answer. Well, speaking of Netflix, uh, Hawkins, Indiana is the fictional town of what Netflix show? Is Hawk- it my turn? Yes, yes. your turn. Okay. Ha- Hawkins, okay. Indiana. Uh, Dodie Stranger Things. Uh, <laughs> Kenzie wins out. I'm sorry. Oh, good. It was fun. Oh. Was it? So <laughs> make sure you want to. Now I feel bad. Give him a prize back. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, Will that make okay. you feel... Don't you go anywhere, mister. You want the prize back, okay. Alan? Sure. <laughs> he doesn't see what he wants. <laughs> well, you can hang up if you don't want to do whatever you want. <laughs> The Q101 Morning Cruise Clash with Kenzie on Q101. Well, if you like free stuff, uh, even bigger than a prize pack, a half hour away, 8 o'clock, we're going to have tickets for Q101's Twisted Christmas, the Black Keys, and you also get an exclusive VIP party. That would be the Black Keys record hang at the empty bottle. You get all that 8 a.m. coming up here with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Once again, as we told you, 8 a.m. Make sure it's in your phone. It's 737 now, so 20 minutes away from the Q101 Twisted Christmas. The Black Keys tickets. Three weeks from today is Q101 Twisted Christmas week. Four shows. They're all there for you at Q101.com. Get your ticket and secure it. If you win, you can always sell it and make some money because they're going to go, and then you're going to be sorry you didn't get your ticket to guarantee for our Christmas party to you. We get these bands to thank you for listening all year long to Brian and Kenzie and Q101 and all of us here. So uh, do that. And you also get into the Black Keys record hang, which is really VIP, really exclusive, a private party essentially with the Black Keys. So 8 a.m. we have that for you. In the meantime, it is time for Head to Headlines. We read you the headlines. And based on the headline alone, you tell us what story you want to hear more about. And then we'll lay out the whole story for you coming up here at 750. So just stay here. But we're never going to talk about the other story again. So choose wisely at the text line 312 591 Headline one or headline number two. Here we go. Headline number one. Waffle House workers demand protection from violent customers. Quote, we are not MMA fighters. Waffle House, listen, there's not any around here. Uh, but Which is a shame. It is. They're in the South, and there's some, I think, maybe possibly in Indiana and Iowa, possibly there. I think even Wisconsin. But for some reason, Illinois, I don't think there's one Waffle House. Maybe way downstate. So to get that reference, there's a lot of wild after-midnight stuff happening at Waffle Houses. That's headline number one if you want to hear more about that story. Headline number two. Florida couple charged with felonies after public sex. Quote, it was always a dream of mine. End quote. That's headline number two. It was, it was, it was very short. It? <laughs> well, again, if you want to hear more about the story, text in headline number one or headline number two, and we will break down the story you choose. You choose the content. Some people vote, and they didn't even hear the second. That's not fair. Are you going to wait? Someone said headline number one before I got the yeah, headline two? Yeah, you didn't read headline oh, number two. that's ridiculous. Not okay. No. You have to wait. I, sometimes you got to be patient. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> I don't have any, but I've heard... <laughs> I heard it's a really good thing. So, headline number one or headline number two, text in which story you want to hear more about. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We have those black keys. Q101 Twisted Christmas tickets coming up within the next eight minutes. Stay right here. And you'll get to the Black Keys record hang, the exclusive VIP DJ set from Black Keys right to you. So personal, so amazing. So, head to headlines first. What you chose to hear more about on the show today with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. We have two headlines for you, and you decide by texting in headline number one, headline number two. Headline number one was, Waffle House workers demand protection from violent customers. We're not MMA fighters. Headline number two was, 
Florida couple charged with felonies after public sex. Quote, it was always a dream of mine. So can't decide if it's the felony or the sex. We they don't were, know. We don't know, but we will find out because headline number two won by a landslide Ooh, on this uh, one. People love Florida. Yeah. <laughs> and here we go. In case the producer, we bring him in. He found this headline and this story, which means we do follow up on these as quality journalists. But let's let's lay it out as we go right now on this wonderful story from Florida. Florida couple charged with felonies after public sex. It was always a dream of mine. Pinellas County Sheriff deputies received a plethora of calls Friday night about a nude couple fornicating in the presence of victims. (laughs) What? What do you mean, like, victims, like... They're calling just people watching. They oh, were they were victims. I think they like purposely found people. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what did you th- what did you think of victim was seriously overall? Like I a- don't know, like some type of support group, and then they like <laughs> and they just went there. Do you think they went to like Sex and Love Anonymous and were like, we're gonna have sex in front of you? <laughs> like I just felt like, or like somebody like recovering from something. Like these poor people who experience trauma, and they're like, guess what? Here's <laughs> more. Here's my butt. Oh my god. <laughs> Walked into an AA meeting and dropped their pants. <laughs> God. <laughs> All Any, right. Anyways. Anyway, their names are public now, so let's get them out there. Uh, Sarah Vazakis and her partner, Robert Clark, now married, were arrested Friday night. <laughs> what does that mean? They're sinners? Shameful. Tim's. <laughs> sinners. Uh, they were arrested Friday night after having intercourse on public property in Florida, during which they were fully nude. Oh, there was juveniles present. That's, oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's a bummer. Yeah. Not victims, but they were victims. No, they're definitely victims. Yeah. After the couple was arrested, uh, Fazekas, the woman, reportedly told police that, quote, it was always a dream of mine. Not a felony to have sex in public. Ah. Okay. Living the dream. (laughs) American dream. Meanwhile, the man, Clark, showed, quote, zero remorse. (laughs) Regarding the incident. <laughs> I'm not sorry. It was great. That's the line that got me is that now all I can think of is him like not blinking during this entire thing. He was just a stone cold killer. Yeah. Zero remorse sounds he extreme. Have, um, he must have made it to the finish line if he has no remorse. <laughs> that sounds like a calm, cool, and collected Robert Clark. Yeah. yeah otherwise, he'd been like, damn C blockers. I was yeah. almost there. Damn it. <laughs> A good episode of Scooby Doo. I would have made it if it wasn't for these pesky kids. <laughs> <laughs> and their dog. Oh. <laughs> they really sniffed them out. Oh. Good lord. Where so, was it? What, what public property was it? Does it say? Um, I'm not there. In the story so far, it does not say. It just okay. says in public. I just uh, want to know, like, park, grocery store. Like, what do we got? We'll see if it goes deeper here. Is there a place you'd hey, prefer? Oh, that's being... what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach it. There we go. Um, yeah, like Casey's question there, was there, is there a good spot for this? Um, like, I think that if you were in your car, there was effort for it to not be super public. Yeah, no, they were not. They were definitely out of the car. They felt a breeze. Yeah, okay. in, in public. Butts and everything were out there. Jeez, um, you guys are really hammering on the butts thing. Well, that's I'll t- what she said. Well, part ah. of- <laughs> there, there, there's a line coming that's going to get you, Kenzie, too, in another paragraph here. All right, what do you got for me? Okay, so first off, this sets the stage for the people. I'm not judging. I'm not age judging. I never do that. But Fazekas is 55 and Clark is 60 years old. I didn't expect that. I thought they'd be in their 20s having public oh, sex. Wow. Yeah. 55 so and 60. So they're working on the bucket list? I guess. I'll say... Clark looks pretty good for 60. Is it Vasquez <laughs> out of curiosity? No, it's F-A-Z-E-K-A-S. Oh, okay. Fazek- I'm saying it Fazekas. I hope okay, I'm right. I was wondering if you were reading. I can't see the story. I, I, hope, I, can say, sure. I hope I can say Vasquez right. Okay. If I saw that. <laughs> so, uh, quote, they were fully nude on top of each other. <laughs> well, that's usually com- how you, it happens. <laughs> the well, there's some different ways they could probably do that in public, don't you think? Well, you'd still require, someone's got to be there. Someone, they both got to be Bumping into each yeah, other. Gotta... But no one's Winnie the Poohing it is what they're saying. We're talking not even pants around the ankles. Yeah, these are these nude. are people that are fully nude. <laughs> I really need to know where this was. Yeah, um, let me see. Oh, we'll see if it gets there. But um, Like, was she hanging onto a tree? <laughs> yeah. This this sets the stage a little better. Not okay. exactly where you were, but it also reveals that Clark was lying on his back with his genitals fully exposed. <laughs> so he's on his back like in the grass. Oh, I guess he was starfish in it. <laughs> oh, God. Just like a man. Wasn't even putting in the work. Now, here's the one that a witness, a witness testimony is going to get you, Kenzie. Um, a witness reported describing the incriminating scene as, quote, 
crack to sack, going to town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Were they on a picnic? It's bothering me. <laughs> oh, that should be our new billboard. Cr- Brian and Kinsey cracked a sack. Going to town. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, our billboards say we only want fans to listen. Yes. Um, Fazekas, the woman, said, boastfully shared her wishes with deputies upon her arrest, stating, this has always been a dream of mine, referring to having sex on the causeway. The causeway is surrounded by water and offers views of the St. Joseph Sound in Clearwater, Florida. So, uh-huh. isn't, Wait, the, it's... isn't the causeway a road? Yeah. I thought so, co- were uh, they in a car on the causeway? No, no, no they were they were out so of the I car. Wonder, I wonder if they were on like 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 those median areas of like grass in between. Land. What a horrible spot to choose. I know. Do you think they already had their clothes off and they went out there and they took it off there? Because that uh, seems like a lot to carry. <laughs> <laughs> like afterwards, like you're trying to get like the whole. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean. Maybe, yeah, maybe they just parked and ran over to the to the grassy knoll. Ran across the highway to the grassy knoll. What, are yeah. they like a Kennedy? Were they <laughs> on the grassy knoll? <laughs> yeah, so now you know where it was, on a, on a road, a causeway. That's terrible. Terrible choice. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, cl- what if somebody hated it and then drove into them? Like, I wouldn't like that. I would have picked a park. <laughs> if I had to be in this predicament. Well, apparently it had a wonderful view of the St. Joseph Sound, which was important for her. Very beautiful. Yeah. You did a little ocean view. That was it dream. sounds gorgeous. Yeah. It's not together when you put a Four Seasons with the view. right there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you move this to the sand, all of a sudden I'm all in. Yeah. I'm just afraid I'm going to roll over on a rock. Yeah. Okay, so it continues. Clark, the guy, appeared rather indignant about the situation per court records. He reportedly exhibited no remorse that he subjected children to the sight of his genitalia. He declared that, quote, the children should be at home, not on the causeway. What? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> They're in cars going by you, the poor kids. They're probably on their way home. Yeah. School. How did they know what they're supposed to get there? Oh, my God. They should be at home. What are they home? They can't be out in the world. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. How do you, That how, is the worst argument. Well, they should be at home. Yeah. How he turned himself into victim on this is amazing. I respect it. Um, Clark was charged. Well, the damn kids won't give him any privacy. <laughs> Good lord. The guy, guy wants to have a little fun and cross things off his bucket list. Good lord. Yeah, it's a felony. He's so the- like, it takes me two minutes. Top. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big Just blink and I'll be gone. Yeah. Can you imagine? Well, like, I probably took him an hour to get there, and then they had to cross the causeway in the median, like to get up. So I mean, a- I thought that it was like, okay, here's the deal. Yeah. Not that it would make it okay, but if you were on a picnic <laughs> date. And then, like, oh, crime of passion because you're having a date. Yeah. This seems boring and unromantic. Like, you're probably, like, scrolling Instagram on the drive, clicking your nails. Let's park. Like, you think you'd, I mean. The romance would be gone by the time yeah. you got there. Yeah. You're... And then, like, nobody wants to. It's a whole thing. Got to start the fire once you get there. It's like, no thanks. It sounds uncomfortable, too. I don't want to get there and build a fire. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Does it sound uncomfortable? Yeah, it sounds uncomfortable. In the median of a highway? Anyway, um, Clark was charged with lewd and lascivious. Lascivi- how do you say that? Lascivious? Lascivious? What? Lasci- that word, lascivious. I can't see it, Brian. Lascivious. <laughs> Spell it out. L A S C I V I O U S. It's like lascivious. I'm trying to. L A S. L A S C I V I O U S. Lascivious. Don't, I know, hurt, I know, don't hurt yourself. I know how to say it. I can't read it, though, for some reason. This is dyslexia. Lasci- well, you don't know how to say it. Lasci- You're struggling with Lasci- it right now. La- Lascivious? La- Lascivious? Lascivious? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to do it based on what you just smelled. In case you try it. <laughs> Lascivious? <laughs> Use it in a sentence. Uh, I thought I nailed it. Lascivious. Lascivious. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a felony, what this lascivious stuff is. Um, Fazekas was also charged with exposing herself and was slapped with an additional narcotics charge as the cops found... Well, that makes more sense. Well, they found... <laughs> they found uh, Clonzapam and Benzipine. Benz, Benzodip... Benz, oh, my God. Benzodip, yeah. Benz, I know, those are bad words. Benzodiazepine. <laughs> <laughs> Can we pull that audio? Can we please pull that audio? Benzodiazepine. <laughs> I, I, ah, yes, that drug. <laughs> I've heard of clonazepam, which I think is an anti-anxiety drug. Um, and yeah, they, clonazepam, they, because um, John Mulaney talks about being on it. He uh, likes that. Yeah, I, and the other one probably sounds like it too. They found those in an Altoids container in her purse. Altoids. What did I say? Alto- Altoids. Altoids. God. <laughs>
Altoids. I said Altoids. Yeah, yeah. I, said, I said Altoids. No, you said Altoids like Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy them at all. All the toids. Yeah. That's what you said. <laughs> As of... <laughs> all the toids. That's what they put. As of Monday afternoon, Clark is being held at the county jail for a $50,000 bond. He was ordered by the judge to have no contact with children because he doesn't seem to care well, about so, killing children. Good point. I don't think he has any he wants to contact. Yeah. He sounds like he hates them. Now, she was freed from wow. custody Saturday for posting $2,150 uh, bond. So that's... She is not the... She's better off than he is. They're he's blaming just, him more. She's in a better position, if you will. <laughs> Hi-yo. Hi-yo. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.